Hi, I'm Michael Kern, and you're watching Mossy and Robbo on Glasgow Gold. Hey! Welcome to the day five wrap up of the Double X Commonwealth Games here in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold. Day five, Robbo, traditionally is always family days. It's all about the families, and we got out there today to the hockey. Yeah, we did. Got along to the hockey again, and the families there, I can tell you, were flocking in their numbers. There was Australian families, English families, Scottish families, even Welsh families were there as well. In particular, there was one very important family that made its way there. These guys, we don't seem to be able to uh, get away from. They're following us all around the place. Uh, let's see who it was. We're back here at the hockey, and it wouldn't be a day out at the hockey without... A royal visit, Mossy, and uh, we believe there might be someone coming to visit us very shortly. Strap yourselves in, it's going to get really exciting. Robbo, the time has come. Yes, Mossy, it's upon us now, and here they are. If you get a photo with Jumpy, it's Will and Kate. So Mossy, as you can see here, we couldn't contain our excitement as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Wills and Kate, stepped out of the car. And there was Harry as a little bonus as well. I know you were pretty thrilled to see those guys. Yeah, we couldn't see George though. That was the one concerning well, thing, Robbo. This is the thing. If you look at the footage here, I mean, have they left him in the car? They're not much of a family if they've left the little baby, uh, George, in the car. So um, hopefully he was okay, but would have been nice to have met him as well. Now, as always, we like to hear from our roving reporter, Carl. We popped him in the corner of the hockey field, and this is how he summed up the day's play. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it does. Sunny Glasgow day, 3-0 to the Australians in the Ashes battle against England here at the Hockey Centre. And yes, another visit for the Royal Roo. It was the Royal family, Harry, Will and Kate. Somebody pinch me, put a fork in me, we're done. That's great. And there's still six days to go. That's not gold, that's royal gold. Yes, and look at there at the uh, back end of that Robbo jump. He was flying around. He was well amongst the whole day, wasn't he? He certainly was. Well, actually, I, I had a feeling that's why we saw Wills, Kate and Harry later on. It was part of the reason they came, uh, firstly to see us, but also to see Jumpy and get a photo with him. Now, he has proven to be an absolute hit at these Double X Games. People are wanting to get photos with Jumpy uh, at the hockey today on the walk to the hockey and the walk back to the train station. We were constantly stopped. Can I get a photo with your, your kangaroo? Yeah, it's Jumpy. He's on Twitter. Follow him at Jumpy Official. He's got about 65 followers on Twitter, Mossy, and that's pretty much happened overnight. So It's, it's absolutely massive, Robbo, and the big thing is that people aren't saying you're kangaroo. I noticed today they were saying, can we get a photo with Jumpy? And then we were jumping. They say, no, no, yeah. can you guys just Yeah, get out of the road. That's right. They don't want us anymore. So Jumpy, I reckon he's going to uh, absolutely cane it. He's going to be uh, up there with Usain Bolt in terms of Twitter followers before too long. And if you want to get in contact with him at Jumpy Official and the hashtag there is go jumpy now robo uh, just before you move on where is jumpy mossy he's well, not here today he's, he's usually here mate he is absolutely gone he's completely uh, deflated jumpy he's had a big couple of days i guess and the marathons took it out of him yeah and we went out to the hockey today believe it or not there actually was hockey as cal mentioned there they got up three nil uh, over england which yep. was great to see uh, but we didn't go out there to see the hockey we didn't go out there to see the royal family they were bonuses we went out there to see headbands robert yep we did we spoke about it on yesterday's show there was talk that there were headbands being donned by the Hockey Roos, in particular one naked runner's headband which was presented to uh, young Ashley Nelson. Well, we got out there and sure enough, as the, as the Hockey Roos were being uh, introduced to the crowd, there it was, front and centre, the proud uh, naked runner's headband being worn there. Uh, but she wasn't the only headbanded out there, Mossy. There was one other. And uh, so it's great to see it starting to take off. I think the whole team come into the serious part of the, the uh, competition when the mat matches really start to matter. I reckon we'll see the full team in the headbands. That's right. It's a 100% increase uh, in headbands. It was Emily Smith out there from Cookwell. And happy birthday to you, Em. Congratulations for getting out there. Now, Robbo. There was also a very, very important thing, something we haven't seen much of this game out there from uh, Australia's goalkeeper, Rachel Lynch. No, she touched the ball. 
Finally got a touch. Uh, oh my taken goodness. her all these games. I think she had two before the start of play. Did she? And that was just her teammates knocking around. <laughs> In before. the warm up. Well, her teammates wouldn't even hit it to her for a warm up, <laughs> so she couldn't get a touch. But today, I think she got five. I counted five. Might have been four or five. And uh, so she had to do a little bit of work against the English. We only won by three goals to nil, but uh, they're looking pretty good, the hockey roos. Headbands and all, and I reckon they're on their way for some Glasgow gold. That's right. Well, uh, mate, I don't know if you noticed, but in the warm-up there, she said, don't hit them at me, actually hit them wide, because that's what I'm used to. I need to continue uh, to get used to that. Now, a segment that we always like to get to is the Ginger Games. A little bit of a uh, different flavour, Robbo. Yesterday, we got out and uh, did some cuddles on the street, and I uh, took down as many cuddles as I possibly could. Um, today, we're going to uh, do a little bit of uh, an experiment. We've got two nominations out there. We, we have the Duke of Ginger, and I'm talking about Prince Harry himself. And we have one of the Hockey Roos, or the Hottie Roos, who uh, has labelled herself an ambassador for the Orangutan Project, the girl from Victoria, Georgia, Nansquin. Um, so we have uh, two people out there. I think we might put it out to our studio audience here. Who do you think it should go to, Harry or Georgia? And it looks like it's gone to Georgia there, Robbo. Absolutely. D didn't see that one coming, but fantastic to see once again an Aussie taking down a pond. Well, what about this photo you can see here where the two contestants are in this very same photo? Look, the Royals and, and Harry, they love to pose with the hockey roots. They know how much of a social media force these guys are uh, and the retweets and the follows and the favourites that come from it. So great, great work. Um, the Har Prince Harry... He's a pretty tough ranger to take down. So uh, if you can get him, you've done well. Well done, Georgia. And look, listen, I just want to mention the fact is it's still to this day, we haven't seen Prince Harry and myself in the same room. Not going to say too much more than that. Now, what I want you to tell us, Robbo, uh, is the Glasgow gold medal tally. Mossy, more gold is flooding through the gates and I can tell you, Australia, we are now up to 30 gold medals. So another stack being thrown into the can today. Well done to the Aussies. England, hot on our heels still, 27 gold. And Scotland, 13. Now this is unprecedented. Scotland today broke the record for the most number of gold medals ever achieved at the Com Games. Well done, Scotland. But even more impressive, Mossy. What about our little experiment to combine the two forces, Scotland and Australia, forming Scotralia? Well, if you have a look at it there... I, I can see, Robbo, that you're actually uh, playing I, homage today to uh, I, Scotralia with a bit of uh, Scottish flavour. I am here, mate. This is my Scottish uh, outfit. Actually, it's this Cricket Scotland uniform. Um, I played a bit of uh, cricket in my time living here in Scotland, so uh, I'm uh, well qualified for that. But no, I, I think I really want to embrace the, the, the culture and the, uh, the uniforms and the customs of this new nation that we're proposing that gets formed but scott Tralia, there they are mossy proudly out on top uh with a total now of 43 gold medals 120 medals in total so we've cracked the 100 england a long way behind now 27 gold and only 74 total medals so scott Tralia is taking them on they might even look to take on the states pretty soon um in all sorts of other sports olympics and, and other things absolutely now we didn't get uh, much out there on the track today in terms of, of medals we've got a lot of hope for tomorrow night and pushing further forward which we'll get to uh in just a moment i'm liz duncan and you're watching mossy and robo's glasgow gold what we need to do is provide a little bit of inspiration. Why not we go to uh, Robbie Burns, um, as spoken through his son's words, and that is Craig Burns, and here is a word from Burns. We sleek it crowin, tim timorous beastie, O oh, water panics in thy breastie, Though need na start awa ze hasty, We bickering brattle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion Has broken nature's social union, and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startled. Well, I don't know about you, Robbo, but that's inspiring me. Yep, it's inspiring the entire nation of Scotralia. Now, coming up, Robbo, tomorrow, it continues. Can you believe it? We're pretty much at the halfway point right now. I thought we must have ended it three days ago. <laughs> it just continues on. No, it does. Uh, so, yeah, day six tomorrow uh, will be over halfway. And look, the big action is back out there at the track. We've seen the 100-metre finals uh, tonight. That's been very exciting. But loads of Aussies are running, jumping, and chucking. The conclusion of the men's decathlon happens. The women's heptathlon kicks off with our very own Sophie Stanwell. Uh, you've got the wheelchairs. They're in action as well. Kurt Fernley, uh, Christy Dawes. Um, in the 1500 metre T54, 53 um, category there. The men's 800, 
Huge fan of the men's 800, so look out for Josh Ralph, Jeff Risley there. Final of the list of the women's 1500 uh, list, Duncan, Kayla McKnight in that. Uh, 110 hurdles, Huff and Baines. Look, it's just a feast of action out there. So uh, we look forward. We're not going to be going there ourselves. We're, we're holding off. Wednesday's our next day at the uh, the track. So must be a little bit of a quieter day for us. We might just try and uh, catch up on a little bit of sleep, get a bit of fruit and veggies on board, stay hydrated because <laughs> we've got a big finish coming up. Absolutely. Day five wrapped all up here on Glasgow Gold. I'm going to label this one gold. No, Mossy. That's Glasgow Gold.